What's going on, people? It is your boy Sneakerhead Pack Tony with another video. All right, you saw the title, man. Got the Stealth Fives. Picked up that size nine. You see it? Our colorway on the box. We got white, hyper royal, and stealth. These retail for one hundred and ninety dollars. Dropped about a week ago, and uh, they dope, man. But uh, here it is, the Air Jordan Five Stealth. Finally brought these back. They uh, they originally dropped back in 2006, and uh, they made some minor changes to them. They still flames though. I didn't really care too much about the changes. Um, they really weren't on my radar back in 2006, so that's probably why I don't really care that much. It still ultimately looks damn near the same. Now, this had been one of my favorite fives, and I've been waiting on this to release forever. And then they finally released, and they made some unnecessary changes like they did. Then I probably, I probably would be a little mad. It's nothing worse when you're waiting on something to re-release, and then they don't do it exactly how you remember it. But for the simple fact they were never really on my radar, I could care less. Uh, ultimately, it still looks like the same damn shoe. Um... The changes, I think this toe cap was all white. Um, I know the the shark teeth on the midsole were blue instead of black. This one is black with hyper royal splatter on it. And then it had the blue on the back of the tongue. The sock liner um, on this one is black. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think those are the only real changes that they made to it. So, you know, still the same shoe. But if you were, if this was one of your favorite shoes, then I'm not gonna front, you probably would be mad at, at these subtle changes. But all in all, I still say it's flames, man. Um, clean, super clean shoe to have. You got this nice tumbled plush leather on there. It's like real soft, man. Real soft and tumbled. I'm not gonna front, I think I prefer like full grain stiff leather just because fives crease pretty easy. But uh, it's not bad though. These, these are gonna crease like a bitch though. I can tell you that now. But yeah, man, I keep telling myself I'm going to stop buying fives, but I just keep on buying them, man. Um, they've been releasing some dope fives. I've already missed one of them, but I just wanted to make sure I, I did get the Stealth fives and then the Raging Bull fives. Um, those dropped today, actually. I'm late with this review. But um, I got the Raging Bull fives on the way, so I will have that video for you soon. And um, yeah, man, these are flames. 2006 for the original drop and they finally bringing them back out in 2001 um, other than the hyper royal and the stealth you got the 3m tongue with the hyper royal jump man on there black jump man on the back icy blue translucent soles um, little history for the fives man they originally dropped in 1990 i think it was the first sneaker to ever have a translucent sole these were the first to have an icy bottom not just the first jordan to have an icy bottom but the first sneaker ever to have an icy bottom so tinker hatfield definitely pushed the game forward with all the innovative things he used to put on jordans man they were the first for a lot of stuff and jordan fives are definitely one of the crowd favorites man um i think jordan five has the best tongue than any other silhouette as far as the jordan signature shoes go uh the tongue is just dope man you got the hyper royal lace lock right there with the clear holder and uh you got the translucent netting on there also and it's just a solid shoe, man. Everything been selling out, but these will definitely be one of the dope pickups for the spring or the summer. Y'all know summer's supposed to be lit, so hopefully things will be somewhat back to normal. But you're gonna want to have some some clean kicks on your feet, man. Some of y'all going on vacation, you gotta have these, man. Easily one of the the doper shoes to release this year so far. I say one of the top. It's in the top five so far, maybe. I don't know. I don't know about that things smell toxic man some of y'all know the inspiration behind the jordan 5 with the world war ii fighter jets how they used to paint the sharks on them that's why you kind of got the the shark teeth on the midsole and uh yeah it was a real dope concept and these came out flames man there were only four og jordan 5s when they first dropped in 1990 there were the uh, fire red fives with the gray tongue the fire red fives with the black tongue the great fives and then the metallic fives so they're only four og colorways but this one is still dope as hell but uh yeah man y'all let me know if you pick these up let me know how you feel about these i would say go true to size for these i tried one on it's true to size for me if it's any different y'all let me know down below uh, i'm going to happen to that on foot 
comment, like, subscribe, shoot me some feedback. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Sneakerhead Pat. Appreciate y'all rocking with me, and I will see you next video. Peace.